we are in Dunedin, New Zealand, and we are on a tour works tour with our group. And oh my goodness, look at this. It's downtown Dunedin. Now it's quite windy. I'm sorry if there's wind. It's quite windy, but it is absolutely beautiful Hang on up here too. And it's stunning. Just stunning. What a beautiful My Australian friend, he is the other admin, one of the other admins in the uh, Princess Cruises Adventure Group on Facebook, and he has arranged for this whole thing. It's absolutely beautiful. Thank you so much, Wayne. You're welcome, Alex. Anything, anything for you guys. Oh, my goodness. It is absolutely beautiful. I'm showing everything. Well, this will be on this. This is absolutely beautiful. It is. It's stunning. We, when we came last year, last year, Chalmers. Port Chalmers. Chalmers. Yeah. Okay. C H A L M E R X. Yes. Yeah. Port Chalmers. Yeah. <laughs> Chris is taking our picture. Oh, is he? Where is he? <laughs> <That'd be right. laughs> All right, you guys. I'll catch you later. So what is this college called? Helen? So this is the University of Otago. It is the first university in New Zealand and we just celebrated our 150th anniversary last year. So awesome. we're very proud of our historical heritage here at the University awesome. of Otago. And we are now the second biggest university in New Zealand. Wow. So we're the oldest and the second biggest. Awesome. Awesome. Thank you for that. See, the, I, that, I would not have remembered all that. I'm glad I caught you here, Helen. This is their beautiful clock. We call it a clock tower, clock right? Tower. Beautiful clock tower that chimes right now, we think, on the, well, at least on the half an hour. It may may chime on every 15 minutes but this is just a lovely lovely place I'm gonna do a 360 here and you will see it is just absolutely beautiful Look. here's Barb say hi Barb and her hubby Don and hello and that's Chris back there who won't be on camera here's Stella say hi Stella hello everyone Stella. nice to meet you and I, Here's Wayne again. G'day, how are you going? Yeah, this, yeah, is, yeah. this is Les, one of our drivers. Hello, Les, how are you? I was I was passed you by because I didn't know your name. I'm oh, so sorry. Oh, that's okay. I'm like, oh, did I meet him and not remember his name? <laughs> We're good. Here we go. Everybody's on my channel. Turn around. Say hello. Uh, hello. Hello. My, my YouTube. Hello, Pam. Here's my hello, buddy Pam. Hello. Hello. And her husband, Dennis. And I don't know whether people mind being on my YouTube channel. My, my people don't care. Yeah. If they do, you will send be them to eventually. Me. If they Not do right send now. them to me, I'll take care of them. Okay, you'll take good care of them, right? Yes. I'll, Pam I'll, is I'll... Wayne and Pam and I are the three admins in the group that we are so, that are hosting this group so, cruise here. So this is my sweet lady friend Pam, and she and I have been through a lot together. If you ever need a travel agent, call me. I can get you anywhere. <laughs> there you go. There, free advertising. Thank you. There you go. All right. <laughs> All right. I'm off. <laughs>
species of penguin. So, if you've ever seen a documentary of penguins before, or maybe you've seen our little blues here in New Zealand, you'll have seen heaps of them all together. They're normally very social um, colonial animals. However, our yellow eyes are a bit different. They're very, very solitary, very antisocial. They much prefer to be by themselves rather than with other penguins. So whether they're on land resting and hanging out or they're out in the sea fishing, for the most part, they like to do it all by themselves. So the only real exception to this is if you see a mate pair, they do mate for life. And during mating season, they will spend, and chick raising season, they will spend quite a bit of time together. Um, but during winter feeding, um, they don't spend much time together at all. Um, you also occasionally see an adult with a chick or sometimes juveniles running around on the beach. But that's just because they are young, they don't really know what's going on, and they're trying to figure out what's going on. Thank you. 